In this training video, you will learn how to prepare your CAD model for using it on the SimScale platform. First of all, the most important thing to do is understand that a design engineer has different requirements than a simulation engineer regarding the CAD model. In general, a design CAD model includes all production-related features and details, such as bolts, nuts, and small faces. A good example is the outer skin of an aircraft. The construction model contains thousands of rivets. Compared to the whole aircraft, these rivets are very small and would have no impact on the aerodynamics. You should therefore remove them before creating an external aerodynamic simulation. The same applies for thin gaps between parts of an assembly and small geometrical features. As a general rule, you should remove everything from your CAD model that is not necessary before uploading it to SimScale. Another important point here is to ensure that your model is watertight. That means that there are no gaps between the surrounding surfaces of a body. An example to illustrate this, if you want to simulate the flow around a car and there is a very small gap between the two faces of the geometry, the flow would go through the car. Finally, you also have to choose the right domain of the geometry. Performing a fluid flow analysis implies that you are simulating the behavior of a fluid in or around the part you want to analyze. Thus, you need the geometry of the flow domain, not of the part. In practice, there are two ways to prepare your CAD model if you want to analyze the flow around an object. For instance, for the aerodynamics of an airplane or a car, you are required only to upload a model of the object itself. On the other hand, let's assume you would like to perform an internal flow analysis. This means you want to analyze the flow through an object. A valve or a pipe could be a good example of this. For this, we would recommend that you extract the inner volume of this part and upload that to the platform. In any case, you should ensure the geometry is simplified and watertight. Given the great number of different available CAD systems, we will also take a short look into the fundamentals of CAD data formats. This should help you find the best export settings for every CAD software you want to use with SimScale. There are basically two kinds of 3D CAD models. Mechanical CAD systems are creating so-called precise solid models. These describe body shapes, and edges. The mathematical models allow us to save geometries which are composed of different elements. In contrast to this, so-called tessellated models describe objects by dividing them into thousands or millions of small triangulated surfaces. Therefore, the resolution of these files is limited. They are also not able to describe real volumes or multiple surfaces because there are no topological information between single surfaces. The whole model is a single surface mesh. Thus, it is possible to convert a precise CAD model to a tessellated one, but not the other way around. A precise CAD model can contain surfaces, volumes, or both at the same time. This yields two possibilities for describing a body with such a CAD model. A sphere, for example, is bounded by four surrounding surfaces. Using a solid means that besides the surfaces themselves, the connection between them is considered. A solid is treated like a massive object. If the faces are not perfectly touching each other, or not defined by the user as a coherent solid body, then we have a shell object. Whenever possible, you should use a solid instead of a shell body. As long as you are using solids, you can be sure that the model is watertight. Last but not least, we would like to tell you which file formats you can upload to SimScale. For precise models, which we recommend whenever it is possible, you can choose between the STEP and the IGES file format. In the case you only have access to a tessellated CAD model, we support the STL file format. In any case, you should ensure that you use the right units to export the file. Now let's get some hands-on practice. In the last video, we explored the user interface concept of SimScale importing a finished simulation project. This time we will upload our own CAD model. For this video series, we provide you with the model. First, we have to create a new project. Just click on the New Project button in the left row of the starting screen and choose a name for the project. Now you can also define the metric system you want to use. Switch to the Mesh Creator tab by clicking the Related button in the main ribbon bar. You can now upload a geometry from your local computer by clicking the Import Geometry button, which you will find above the project tree. This will open a widget where you can define a name for the CAD model, choose the file format you want to upload, and browse the file on your local file system. After the upload has finished, you can check the properties of the geometry in the middle column of the SimScale user interface. You can see the bounding box diagonal length, which describes the distances between two points of the geometry and can therefore be used to check the scale of the model. Also, this is the section where you can check if the model is solid or not. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we will prepare our first simulation based on the geometry we uploaded.